Are we about to see the commercial real estate bubble explode? Just a little tiny bit. What's up, guys? I'm Mighty Mike, and welcome to Rockstar News. All right, so reading a couple articles today, and I posted a comment on my Facebook book whether or not you guys believe the commercial real estate market is going to collapse. And it's probably, I mean, take this for what it is. But there's a kind of a, a general consensus that the real estate market or the commercial real estate market is going to take a big hit. And there's a number of factors that play into this. And we're going to go into them right now. All right. The first one is ultra low cheap interest rates. For the last 10 years, hell, I mean, last 100 years, but the last 10 years, uh, going back to two, 2008, um, we essentially had the Federal Reserve pumping a lot of cheap low interest rates, uh, low interest rate credit into the market. And that has created distortions in the marketplace. You had a lot of people who were taking that cheap credit and taking advantage of it and investing into things that probably they wouldn't invest in if the interest rates were much higher. Uh, so that's leading to a lot of people who are investing too much into commercial real estate. And we're probably going to see, you know, people's roosters come home and roost, you know, is that the same? I don't think it is. The other part of it is we are going through the commercial real estate apocalypse, which has been going on for a number of years now. You know, you have Amazon and a bunch of other big uh, online stores competing with retail markets on the ground, and they're just simply killing it. You know, why sit there and go shopping when you can go online, stay in your underwear, and essentially have things shipped to you within two days. So we're going to see a lot more commercial real estate take a hit that way, uh, just from the competition in the marketplace to begin with. All right, so the third one is there's always been this thing in the market about big companies who are renting a lot of space. You know, they had this idea that they're going to start telecommunicating, you know, telecommunicating more with their employees. And but there's always been a pushback. There's always been the old school guys who've been sitting there saying like, oh, we can't work from home. We need to be face to face. Uh, but with the pandemic and the lockdowns forcing, you know, most people to stay home and work if you could, um, a lot of businesses are starting to see that, like, hey, you know, we can actually make this work. This is actually, we're not seeing any dives in production or anything like this, you know. But the point is, is that they're now seeing the writing on the wall. And that is, we can have up to 40% of our employees working from home, and we could reduce our commercial rent space, the footprint that we rent out, and save buckets, buckets of money. So the writing is on the wall where you're going to have a lot of commercial tenants, uh, like JP Morgan, uh, JP Morgan and Chase are like the two largest ones in New York. They, you know, combined, they ran up like 20,000 square feet of uh, commercial space. Uh, that's a lot. And if they can reduce that space by even 40%, that's a huge amount of space that they can save for themselves. And I think most people are going to start uh, seeing more of this. Like you really have like Twitter uh, say that their employees can stay home indefinitely. They don't have to come back. Uh, Google and Facebook are essentially saying stay home until 2021. Uh, we're probably going to have a lot more companies, uh, especially these digital companies that could work online, saying the same thing. Why sit there and spend the money when you can work from home? It's just going to make you more competitive, and that's going to become a and another factor. It's just you're going to have companies are going to be reducing their ex overhead expenses, lowering the prices, and that's going to force other companies to do so. The other aspect of this is you have employees who are going to be demanding this now. You know, that's going to be a thing that you're going to be looking for. How many of you guys work from home and you actually really, really enjoy it? So you're going to sit there and be like, hey, if I need to find a new job, one of the things I want to do is work from home. And, if, and a lot of companies are going to start saying, hey, work from home, you know, blah, 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 blah. And think about the money you guys save. I think the average American spends about like $600 a month just on a car payment. Imagine if you can get rid of your car. Imagine you just work from home and you can eliminate that $600 payment. You can eliminate your insurance that you have to pay on that. You eliminate the gas, the maintenance. You know, think about most of the time your car is just sitting there doing absolutely nothing 90% of the time. You can eliminate that expense, which is, according to studies, one of the worst expenses you can have. It's a drain on your budget. Imagine what you could do with all that money you save. You know, talk about paying down your debts. Investing into your future, uh, building your business, uh, building a uh, nice down payment on a house that you can buy that has its own office now. And if you do need transportation, you can go call Uber or Lyft. And in, uh, you know, even if you spent like $100 a month on that, that still would be a huge savings. 
So a lot of employees are going to start going that direction as well. So we are going to probably see like a huge shakeup when it comes to commercial real estate. And like I said, I posted a comment on my Facebook page to see what you guys thought about it. And the general consensus is that we're probably going to see like a huge shakeup. Only a few people think it's going to stay the same where people are going to actually go back to work and uh, be completely fine with everything that's happening. But I think we're, I think we might see some normalcy in the beginning, but then they're going to start phasing it in. You know, they still have the leases if they just, don't cancel the leases. Here's the thing about commercial real estate and commercial big businesses. They don't care about their leases. <laughs> they can cancel them at any time. I think the cancellation rate or the uh, the default rate on commercial uh, leases is about 2 to 3% every single year. Uh, it's probably going to jump up to like 8% this year just uh, because of the whole everything that's going on. Uh, so, yeah, you know, they, they look at the numbers. If the numbers don't make sense to them, they're going to eliminate it. So... We should think more like them. Anyways, not saying that you should not <laughs> pay your rents, pay your rents. Um, point being is that we're probably going to see a huge shakeup in the commercial real estate market. I want to see what you guys think. Uh, like I said, I posted on the Facebook uh, a couple days ago about uh, what your comments are. If you guys are on YouTube and you want to chime in, let me know what you think is going to happen with the commercial real estate. Hey, if you are a landlord of a commercial real estate agent, what are your fears? What do you, uh, you know, what are you concerned about? And what are your future plans on in order to like fix this? What is your transition plan? And like I said, I think most people, most commercial uh, places are going to start transitioning into more mixed use. Um, but if you own like a strip mall, that's going to be, you know, significantly. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for me. Uh, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. It helps out tremendously. And if you guys want to follow me on social media, my social media stuff will be in the in credit thingamajiggy. Um, and then, uh, if you guys think about buying a house or selling a house anytime in the future, uh, let me know, you know, even if you, uh, you know, as long-term plans, we can have a conversation over zoom or over the phone. I don't know why people keep mentioning zooms. We still have phones, but <laughs> we can have a phone conversation. We'll talk about what your plans are, see where you need to be and how you can get there. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.